Today I'm going to be making a peg doll. I'm going to use a peg, some scrap material, some wool, felt tip pens, scissors and some glue. There's no right way to make your peg doll, so I'm just going to show you a couple of methods you could use to make you some clothes. The first one is to simply take a small square of material and wrap it around the peg. You can then use some glue or tape to hold it in place. For the second method, I'm going to fold a square of material in half and then fold it in half again. I'm then going to take the folded corner and cut that off. That's going to give me a small hole in my material that I can then use to put over the head of your peg doll for some clothes. Next, I'm going to use the same piece of material with a hole in it and I'm going to glue along the halfway line. Now you make sure you don't get any glue in the hole because you're going to need that later. Next, I'm going to glue um, two lines going from the bottom to the middle, leaving about half an inch of the middle for your peg to fit through. Now I'm going to fold it over and hold down to glue that together. So you'll see I've got a hole at the top and there's a little gap at the bottom which you can use to put your material on to the peg. Like I'm doing here, so you've got a kind of big cloak. Now what you can do here is cut away the excess material to give your peg doll a kind of t-shirt or dress. Like so. Now you can draw hair onto your peg doll. You can take a square of material and stick it onto the top of your peg doll like that. Or you can always use your wool to make some hair or even make some pom-poms and use those to stick on top as hair. I've gone with a square of material for mine. You can draw on a face and let your creativity run wild with any peg dolls you make. 